Hey there gearheads, Jay Leno here. Let's talk about something that's got the automotive world buzzing like a misfiring engine. GM's recall of nearly 600,000 vehicles in the US. That's a whole lot of cars and trucks potentially facing some serious engine trouble. We're talking about some of America's most popular rides too, Chevys, GMCs, and even Cadillacs. Now I love a good V8 rumble as much as the next guy, but this recall is about more than just a little engine noise. We're talking about the potential for catastrophic engine failure. That's right folks, the kind of failure that leaves you stranded on the side of the road, wondering if you should call a tow truck or a priest. So, what's the deal with these engines? Well, it seems there's a problem with the connecting rods and crankshafts. These are crucial parts of the engine, responsible for converting the up and down motion of the pistons into the rotational force that turns your wheels. When these parts fail it's not pretty. The good news is that GM is aware of the problem and is taking steps to address it. The bad news is that you might be one of the hundreds of thousands of owners affected by this recall. So buckle up folks because we're about to dive deep into the details of this recall and what it means for you. Okay let's cut to the chase, which vehicles are affected by this recall? We're talking about certain Chevy Silverado 1500s and GMC Sierra 1500s, those workhorse pickups that are as American as apple pie and monster trucks, but wait, there's more. The recall also includes the Cadillac Escalade, the king of blinged out SUVs. And if you thought you were safe in your trusty Chevy Tahoe or Suburban, think again. These family haulers are on the list too, along with their GMC cousin, the Yukon. Basically, if you've got a 2020 to 2024 model year vehicle with a 6.2 LV 8L87 Ecotec 3 engine, you might want to pay attention. Now I know what you're thinking. Jay, you're talking about some of the most popular vehicles on the road. How could this happen? Well, it seems that even the big boys in Detroit make mistakes sometimes. And in this case, the mistake could be a costly one for both GM and its customers. So if you're the proud owner of one of these fine vehicles, don't panic just yet. There are steps you can take to protect yourself and your investment. But first, let's take a closer look at the technical details of this engine problem. All right, folks, time for a little engine anatomy 101. Don't worry, I'll keep it simple. Imagine your engine is like a bicycle. The pedals are like the pistons, going up and down. The crankshaft is like the crank that connects the pedals to the back wheel, turning that up and down motion into something that makes you go forward. Now, in this case, the crankshaft and connecting rods, those parts that connect the pedals to the crank are made of metal that might not be strong enough. It's like trying to win the Tour de France on a bike made of balsa wood. This weakness can cause the metal to wear down too quickly, or even crack under pressure. And when that happens, it's like your bike chain snapping in the middle of a steep hill. Not good. In a car, it can mean anything from a loud knocking noise to a complete engine seizure. So, how do you know if your engine is at risk? Well, there are a few telltale signs you can watch out for. Section 4. Sounds like trouble engine noises you don't want to hear. Listen up, folks, because this is important. If you're hearing strange noises coming from your engine, don't ignore them. It could be your engine sending you an SOS. One of the most common signs of trouble is a ticking or knocking sound coming from the engine bay. It might be subtle at first, like a woodpecker tapping on a hollow log, but as the problem gets worse, the noise will get louder and more frequent. Another red flag is rough idling. That's when your engine feels shaky and unstable when the car is stopped, like a washing machine on spin cycle. You might also notice your engine stalling for no apparent reason, especially when you're accelerating. And if your check engine light decides to illuminate your dashboard like a Christmas tree, you know something's definitely wrong. Now, I know what you're thinking. Jay, my car makes all sorts of weird noises. How do I know if it's serious? Well, that's where GM comes in. They've got a plan to inspect and, if necessary, fix these ticking time bombs. Section 5 GM's response, what they're saying and doing. So, what is GM doing about this whole engine debacle? Well, they're not exactly offering everyone a brand new Corvette but they are stepping up to the plate, at least on paper. They've issued a recall for all the affected vehicles, which means they'll inspect your engine free of charge. If they find any problems with the connecting rods or crankshaft, they'll replace them, again, for free. And if your engine is in really bad shape, they might even replace the whole thing. Now that's what I call customer service. But here's the catch. Even if your engine passes the inspection, GM is still going to make some changes. They're going to switch you to a higher viscosity oil which is basically thicker oil that's supposed to help protect those vulnerable engine parts. They'll also update the engine control module which is like the brain of your engine. Now some folks might be happy with a free oil change and a software update, but others are worried that these measures are just a band-aid solution and that their engines are still at risk of going kaput. And let's be honest, nobody wants to be driving down the road wondering if their engine is about to turn into a boat anchor. Section 6. 
owner reactions, from mild concern to full-blown panic. As you can imagine this recall has got GM owners all riled up. Some folks are taking it in stride figuring that GM will take care of them. They're the kind of people who whistle a happy tune while they wait for the tow truck. Then there are those who are mildly concerned, but not overly worried. They're keeping an eye on things, listening for any strange noises and hoping for the best. They're the type who bring a book to the dealership, just in case they have to wait a while. And then, there are the folks who are in full-blown panic mode. They're convinced their engine is going to explode any minute, leaving them stranded in a cloud of smoke and despair. These are the folks who are already calling their lawyers and scouring the internet for class action lawsuits. Me? I'm somewhere in between. I appreciate that GM is taking responsibility for the problem, but I also understand why some folks are feeling a little anxious. After all, your car is a big investment, and you want to make sure it's in good hands. Section 7. What to do if your ride's on the recall list. So what's the bottom line? What should you do if your vehicle is affected by this recall? Well, the first thing you should do is not panic. Remember, GM is aware of the problem and is taking steps to fix it. The next step is to contact your local dealership and schedule an appointment for an inspection. They'll check out your engine and let you know if any repairs are needed. In the meantime, pay attention to how your vehicle is running. If you hear any strange noises or if your engine starts acting up, don't ignore it. Take it to the dealership right away. And remember, knowledge is power. The more you know about this recall, the better equipped you'll be to make informed decisions about your vehicle. So, stay informed, stay vigilant, and keep on trucking.